Well, do you ever think about the quality of the food you eat when you go to the mall? Tonight, a local mall food court is making this week's restaurant report card and potentially one of the worst violations we've ever seen. A sushi bar lying about the fish they're serving. Here's Bill McGinty. Yeah, good evening. There are five malls here in the Charlotte area, including the Charlotte Premium Outlets just off of 485. All of them have food service in one form or another, whether it be a food court or restaurants, and they are not immune from health department oversight. We start this week with the Sabaro, which is classified as a food stand. One of their employees was seen handling money with their food service gloves on and not changing them or washing, then going back to making food. Also, there wasn't any soap at the hand sinks. How do you wash thoroughly with no soap? And their burgers and dogs, which should be at least 135 degrees, were not. They're great here at this place at 87.5. That is a B. They have since been re-inspected and they now have a 96, which is an A. Next up, MZ Sushi Bar at 550 South Tryon. Food has to be honestly presented and one of their menu items was not. The spicy white tuna in the sexy salmon roll wasn't tuna. It was something called Escalar, which is a fish, but experts say consumption of Escalar causes explosive, oily, orange diarrhea. And for the record, I have never seen this violation in my years of doing the restaurant report card. Some of their infrastructure was in need of repair too. Their beer cooler door was held together with duct tape and their racks were beginning to rust. Their grade here though, a 90, the lowest day. Last up this week, the Hickory Tavern location at Steelcroft Parkway. They had employees washing hands for less than 15 seconds. Then they recontaminated by touching the dirty faucet to turn the water off. And there weren't any paper towels at any of the three different hand sinks. As for the food, the diced ham, the diced eggs, the chili, and the pulled pork, and some sausage were not date marked from the day before. They're great here at this location of the Hickory Tavern on 90, which is a low end. So as you saw, an interesting set of violations this week, and yes, some of them had A grades. So don't just give the A grades a pass. Check the violations if it's below 95. I'm Bill McGinty, NBC Charlotte.